Well, today we we're in the suffrage room, which has been refurbished and uh, reopened uh, today. It's got um, some really good artwork, uh, and it's got photos of lots of the uh, women MPs uh, and a woman who worked as part of the suffrage movement, early candidates, early women candidates for parliament, going right back to 1919 when it was first permitted. Uh, today in the House, we're going to start again with a ministerial statement around coronavirus uh, from David Clark, the opportunity for other parties to uh, ask questions or make comments. Uh, then we'll go on to questions. Um, Simon Bridges to the Prime Minister, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance, asking them uh, if they stand by their government's uh, statements and actions. Uh, Willow Jean Prime to the Minister of Finance about the economy. Uh, Judith Collins to the Minister of Housing about the Progressive Home Ownership Scheme. Uh, Duncan Webb to the Minister for the Environment about water quality. Uh, Michael Woodhouse about coronavirus. Uh, Chris Bishop to the Minister of Transport about light rail. Deborah Russell to the Minister of Commerce uh, about uh, KiwiSaver uh, fund customers. Uh, Jerry Brownlee to the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, about Shane Jones's comments with regard to uh, Indian students. Uh, Paula Bennett to the Prime Minister about whether she stands by her uh, statements and actions. Um, Chloe Swarbrick to the Minister of Finance about fossil fuel investments. And Jackie Dean to the Minister of Conservation about mining on conservation land. Uh, we'll then go on to the Prime Minister's statement uh, which uh, will run through for most of the afternoon. There'll be an opportunity for uh, members to, uh, to make speeches, starting with Dr Megan Woods. Uh, there's a notice of motion from the government about the Cyber Security Advisory Board. Uh, there won't be any debate on that. Uh, we'll uh, have the uh, taxation uh, bill second reading. It has to do with KiwiSaver and student loans. Um, uh, in the name of Stuart Nash. Uh, there's a couple of speeches left on the third reading of the Electoral Amendment Bill in Andrew Little's name, uh, and, some, and a few speeches, possible, but won't necessarily be taken, on the Ombudsman uh, Protection of Name Amendment Bill. Uh, if we have time, we'll start on the first reading of the Screen Industry uh, Workers Bill, uh, which is in the name of Ian Lees Galloway. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock for a session running from 2 to 6.